What is up YouTube? My name is Bunny and we are back in the great game of Lumber Tycoon 2 with a brand new video and we are not joined by any fans at the moment because I just opted into a server. However, in today's video we are going to be getting the power to build with ease. So I don't think I've done a proper tutorial for this even though it's been out for such a long time. However, if you are a relative- this person is talking to me in chat. Can you give me bun? I can. I give what? I, I don't know but- First, I mean, he's probably asking for money, but I'm going to be spending $10,009,000 in a moment. So if you are a player in Lumber Tycoon 2 and you do want to go to the next level, all you have to do is have $10,009,000. I've just had this money from donations from all of you amazing people who are subscribers and fans. Um, but first off, so when you're a player in Lumber Tycoon 2, it requires a huge amount of wood to fill blueprints. So for example, filling this in is only 4%, but if you have the power to build with ease, this tiny block will fill in the entire blueprint. However, that is not possible until you purchase it from the strange man. So let's get rid of this. And let's go ahead, you want to get a car for this, and then you want a sawmill as well. We're going to destroy this blueprint. There we go. Let's go ahead, hop in our car, and we need to take a quick trip to Bob's Shack, where we are going to purchase ourselves a stick of dynamite. The dynamite is required, um, wait, why am I loading? I'm not, I don't need to poke in my face. The dynamite is required to, um, blow up the hole that is covering up the ladder that actually takes you down to the secret cave, and then you will need a work light because it is rather dark down there. So let's wait for this to lower, or for the bridge to lower, and I'm not exactly sure if I have to pay for it or not because I, I've heard of some sort of thing where you don't have to pay for some stuff. I'm gonna black. I'm gonna blacklist everyone just so no one glitches my balls because I got um like number four thousand that sort of thing. So we're gonna head over to Bob Shack, which is right on the other side of this huge um little rock part of the terrain. So let's drive over there. And right now we're in the safari biome. And ways you can get. Ten million nine thousand uh, dollars legitimately uh, some legitimate ways you can get it is by selling a lot of lava wood you can complete tasks for other players like for example I sometimes hire people to collect wood and if they want to be paid I'll pay like fifty thousand dollars which is amazing so it takes time typically if you're not a youtuber I mean when you're a youtuber you just have all these amazing people who want to like help you and that sort of thing so that's amazing However, if you're not, you just want to sell a bunch of wood, do some services, but you want to make sure um, that, yeah, you, you just need to spend your money wisely. So we're going to purchase two sticks of dynamite, not that two sticks are required. However, just in case it does not exactly blow up the hole, we will have a bit of a safe net and we can just go ahead and light one more stick. So let's talk to Bob buy this for $220. And let's load it back in our car, and then let's head over to Wood R Us and purchase ourselves a work light. So the work light um, emits some nice light, and it's a loose item. It's the only loose light in the game that you can actually take with you. So we're going to be he um, going ahead and taking that as well. And then we're going to need to get ourselves a few long planks. So the long planks uh, require you to get a decent sized um, piece of wood, such as the trunk of a tree. We'll go over that in a moment, but I want to get all of the store products first and how my money's not um, the perfect 20 million dollars anymore sadly but the bridge has not gone up yet so let's cross this and then we can head over to Wood R Us but other than that yeah so I hope you're having a fantastic day and I'm actually going to adjust my OBS audio just so it's not too loud the car engine running but uh yeah so I do have everyone blacklisted uh not for or not to be mean but just because I don't want people glitching my balls on there and I'm surprised no one's joined yet um I don't know why not but let's head over to what are us quack okay as he, he says quack as he runs into the glass uh amazing okay so let's go ahead and get this work light we only need one I mean you can bring more and I do recommend you do this with some friends it'd make it a lot easier however if you're like me you don't have many friends um a <laughs> sad face um you uh let's go ahead and um well okay uh, okay, um, so yeah, our server just keeps uh, replacing people who are leaving, it's very strange, and now we are full, now we have some fans, okay, so let's park our car here, and we want to move this wood out of the way, and get ourselves a long plank, so for the long plank, let's just clear this little area out of, sp or area of space, we're gonna go ahead, and this tree over here looks dead, and I don't even have a good axe on this save either, because I plan on building a new base here, so I'm, I'm working on two different bases at the same time. However, let's chop this tree down. I wonder how powerful this axe is. It's going to take a few clicks. However, it's not too bad. I mean, the many axe would be much better because it's much more powerful. However, it is slightly slower. Um, let's chop this down. 
There we go. And then we're going to just chop about in the middle of the chunk trunk. And if you do have the larger sawmill, you can actually... Um, create much larger pieces of wood however i have the um regular sawmax o2 so i i don't have the capabilities of the larger sawmill which is like double the length so let's pick this up take it over to our sawmill and then we need to change the dimensions of the wood before we do insert the wood into the sawmill because that will help yield a piece of wood that is of a decent size so we're gonna make this i i mean the, the smaller the better, however, you don't want to make it too small. So I think 1 by 0 0.4 should be decent enough. I'm going to insert the wood right here. And if and I do recommend you do this in a non-laggy server, because if you are in a laggy server, the wood sometimes does not come out of the sawmill at the proper length it should be. So, uh, yeah, and you also want to make sure, do definitely do this with some friends. I mean, there there's no way they can scam you. You just need someone to help you get up to, uh, to do the parkour and make sure that you can access the strange man which is actually it's slightly more difficult than it sounds so let's wait for this to finish this is actually quite long and we don't need it this this long let's chop it in half about right here maybe there we go and we do have a second piece just in case it, this is um yeah so that's gone so that's also a problem in this game if you do um do a long plank sometimes it does not exactly work so let's go ahead um uh, let me see. Someone's having a problem. What is wrong? Okay. So first off, let's go ahead. We're going to load this into the car. It'd be much nicer if we actually had a flatbed or one of those trucks. However, I think if we actually place it right here in the middle, <laughs> this, should, this should work. Um, it's actually very smart. I mean, this reminds me. Oh. Okay, so essentially this reminds me of the dogs. So I've, I'm pretty sure you've seen videos of dogs who are carrying huge sticks. And they try to walk through a door, but the stick is preventing them from entering because it's just too wide and it hits the edges of the door frame. So this is, that's what this reminds me of. Um, um, what happens when you crack? Okay, I, I, I just wanted to type that. Oh, no. Okay, uh, whoops. We hit a tree there, but I think this actually... Might be too short. We will see. Um, there we go. Okay, that's good. So his problem is solved. So let's head up here. We have all of the required materials. I also do not recommend you bring an axe with yourself because um, after you get the power, you can just easily reset. However, you won't be able to retrieve your items. But luckily, there's actually a tree growing here, which will um, make this a bit easier. Let's pull up our car here. That way we can bring up the stick of dynamite. We only need one for now, but... Um, we don't want to unbox it just in case we actually detonate it by pressing E. So let's try to hop up the tree. Um, there we go. And let's just pop that up there. There we go. And this is located right next to the snow biome. So there's the entrance over there that's typically guarded by a few boulders uh, that you must detonate to um, rid of or to get rid of them. And then let's hop up here. Okay. Um, <laughs> this trunk is slightly too tall for me. Uh, we got the light stuck up there. Um... I mean, we could always just stick this piece of wood to do the long plank with, uh, but I think I can... Uh, how can I not get up here? Okay, so I think there's just something wrong with the tree. I think it's just too steep of a slope. So let's place this here. Um, okay, let's place it on, it on the right side. There we go. And let's position it like so. Let's wait for it to stand still. And then you want to go ahead and position it on the ground like so there we go and now let's grab our light we're gonna hop up here and once we get to the top you want to make sure you can actually grab it as well right now we can which is fantastic do not drop it um but now we're here this is where um we will test our limits let's see if this piece of wood is tall enough and if not if you have friends like they can also like boost you up as well like you can stack heads or something along those lines but we can actually reach up there. Okay, that is fantastic. So the only struggle really is bringing up the two items. I'd first recommend you get the dynamite and then de- Oh wait, okay, this is possibly going to tip over eventually. Um, okay, it's, it's slightly unstable. However, let's get the second piece up here and you do- Yeah, this uh, light up here. And you do need to make sure you are able to reach that long plank because you will need it inside of there. Oh boy, and it tipped over. Okay, so let's try this again. Um, but yeah, so yeah, let's try this again. Uh, let's make sure it's still. Let's make it as steep as possible. That way we can achieve the maximum um, height. There we go. And let's hop up. And we fell over. Okay. But we did get the light up there at least. 
And let's look over the edge. Let's try to grab... Okay, this is not going to work. Um, huh, okay. Here, this is what we will do. Okay, it fell over. Let's try to adjust this even more. You might want to make this plank slightly longer. I did have that longer one earlier. However, it did glitch underground because that is a small bug in this game. If the wood's too thin, it will just disappear because the ground will just absorb it. But this is one of the easiest ways up here, I believe. I think there might be another option on the other side of the snow biome. But I'm not exactly sure. Okay, that's not going to work. Um, yeah. So, let's position this again. Like so. Uh, try to get it to stop swaying. Because, I mean, it's uh, difficult to get it to stop swaying because the center of gravity is where your cursor is. And mine's at the bottom, so it's uh, slightly off. But there we go. This should be good now. So, let's hop up here. No! No! Okay, well, we're going to detonate it first just so we can change things up, and maybe we'll see if there's another way we can do the long plank up here, because the long plank is necessary for actually reaching the strange man, because it can um, be slightly more difficult because he's super high up in this hole. So let's go ahead and detonate this right here, and while that does its thing, you want to run away, but I'm going to survey this little area over here. We, this might be a bit better. Okay, that should become invisible. There we go, and you just saw that little hole right there. So I think we're going to do the long plank over here. It's just slightly better terrain. And I'm not going to bother trimming this out just so that um, it is um, a seamless video. And if you do get confused, it's like not because I had to edit this video or anything. So let's go ahead and blacklist everyone really quickly. Just so no one touches my balls on my base. Because they're quite rare. I mean, there's 4,000. So it's like 1 out of 4,000, which is decent ish so let's bring this light over here just so we don't have to make the trip again and we'll plop it next down to or right next to the hole right about here there we go that should be good and let's hop down i wonder if he said my name if he did i mean the only axe i have is a silver axe which isn't even the twitter axe i haven't had the opportunity to work on the slot very much uh, i'm not gonna even bother responding because i mean you have nine hundred thousand dollars that's perfect that's uh, like uh, you don't even need that much money so let's walk around here or you don't need that, um, you don't need, yeah, you can easily get an axe yourself. I mean, the Rokery axe is fine. I don't, I don't need, I only have a silver axe, so, yeah. You can even get yourself a bird axe if you fancy that. Uh, so, because, I mean, for the bird axe, all you need is a silver axe, which is uh, fun. So let's walk over here. Luckily, there are no boulders here, so that means they're either glitched or someone was already here prior to my visit, which is nice. So let's walk over here, let's take a sharp left, and here we have a few mountains. So if your long plank is slightly shorter, this will make it a, a bit easier because it's, um, I mean, it's a bit more parkour. How oh, and you want to make sure you do not lose your wood under the ground, because it will just disappear like that. So let's position it right about here, maybe. Okay, this is going to be difficult. Uh, I'm spending way too much time on long plank. Oh, come on. Come on, I, I dislike long planking so much because I find it uh, to be a big hassle. So let's position it right over here. And I'm going to have to get another grip on it as well. There we go, next to the base of it. And let's place this right about here. Like so. There we go, let's hop up top. And hop, there we go. And let's grab the plank, let's not drop it, be super cautious, and now we are safe. Let's go ahead and position this right here. Hop up, and now, oh wait, nope, I don't think we're here just yet. I think we have to do one little, um, park, or a little bit of parkour here. So this should be, um, fairly easy this way, if you do not have a plank that's long enough, but I'd recommend doing so. But I, I'm strict on time. Oh, no, 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 don't tip over. Let's bring this over here. Yeah, that's, that's a, it's so relieving once we have the wood up here. So now all we have to do is grab this wood. We have to make sure it fits down the hole. Um, because the hole is not just straight down, you actually, there's actually like a little floor down there. So let's drop this light down, turn it on, but we want to make sure we do not lose the light as well. So let's make sure the beam of light is not face down on the ground. And there we go. So we have a little bit of light. Now let's shove this down like so. Um, okay, that's not going to work. Let's try it this way. And you want to make sure that you do it in some sort of angle. That way it will just fit down. Not like that, but. Because there is a second... Okay, there we go. That's good for now. Next, let's just uh, pop this down there. And that is a steep descent. Or that's a um, big descent. But let's go ahead and hopefully we can get this in. And if not... Um, come on. It's just right there. Um, 
Ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, maybe if we actually... Um, hold on. You want, I mean, we might have to trim off a tad bit of it. However, that will not be too concerning. So let's just chop it right here. There we go. And now we should be able to push it all the way down. Hopefully. There we go. That's down there. And let's hop down here. And this is a little brief view of what it looks like. And as you hop down, it gets gradually darker to the point you can hardly see anything. And all you can see is the light and what's in front of your face. So I think I relatively know the path. You want to hop down here. And you want to head this way. Right here. And you want, to, you want to make sure that you can carry both the stick and the light. It's helpful if you have friends. That way you can uh, you don't have to make several trips back and forth carrying items. However, you want to just uh, go this way. And we're going to just place this down a bit in front of our face that way. And let's get our light. You don't necessarily need to remember your way back unless you want to keep this light or you have your axe with you. However, my silver axe can easily be replaced. So let's place that there. Let's grab our plank. Let's head over here. And I believe we take a turn here. So let's go this way. And there is some pretty nice music that does play in this little biome as well. But we could just hop up here. And I believe... Wait, no. My bad. My bad. Ignore that. Not this way. We want to head this way. I'm going to grab that stick. Oh, boy. It's dark. Um... Okay, nope, we're going to get this light again. I apologize, everyone, for being uh, slightly misleading. I don't. There's a map on the wikia you can look at, but I don't have the map. I didn't pre um, prepare for this video, but let's pop that down here. Let's place this here, and let's grab our stick and walk this way. And let's place this down in the darkness, grab our light. And the light is essential if it does actually flip over. Chances are you won't be able to find that light again, <laughs> which is a slightly terrifying, but... Let's go ahead. We're going to take a turn here. I think that's correct now. Let's grab our stick so we don't lose it and continue repeating this path. So if you want to remember, there's a little rock here. You want to take a right instead of going straight. So let's take it here. Now, I think this is the area. I mean, I'm not exactly sure, but I've been here, I believe, like three or four times. So here we are. You walk this way now, right here. Oh, yeah, here we are. We're here. And then let's grab our stick uh, right here. And there is the hole all the way up there. So that is super high up. So what I recommend doing, you want to grab your long plank, position it up here like so. You can even... Oh, wait. I think there might be... There's supposed to... Oh, whoa. We can do a little parkour really quickly. Um, I don't think there's really anything up here. It's just... Um, wait. We can actually do a little parkour, guys, if we do not mind. So um, the only problem is you can actually get stuck up there by the strange man. So you might want to bring a light with you. But we're going to put this on... It's uh, top side like so, and then I'm going to place my axe right here because you can't just hop up top like so. You can actually use an axe, which will um, boost you up a little like so. So let's hop up here. You don't have to necessarily. However, next you want to get your long plank, and you will need to like place it so that it reaches the top. So I made it up, and the stick is just falling all the way down, so we might get lost here without the light. However, let's just try to remember the path, and if you hop around, you might just figure your way out. But, I mean, we can just try, try to keep track of that little beam of light you have there, and then you will drop down a few steps, like so, possibly. There we go, now we're in darkness. But here we have an eerie glow coming from a corridor, and here we have the strange man. Hello! Let's see if we have to pay. I mean, I have the money, but strange man, hello! I'll grant you the power to build with ease. The cost is $10,009,000. I wish for this. As you wish, we lose $10,000, uh, $10, but now we have the strange power, and now we do some, uh, like, magical stuff. Ooh, fancy. Okay, so now we have the power, and now we can do anything. So if we try to talk to him again, uh, hope your gift is treating you well. So that, you know, he's, it's the same dialogue if he does, uh, if you do return to him. However, let's try to figure our way back out of here. Um... I think it's just somewhere around here. Yeah, here we go. Oh, aha. I've never actually been able to get out of here without light. But nonetheless, um, yeah, so I hope you did enjoy today's video. And if you did, make sure you do hit that like button and also consider subscribing. I make daily content every day, and it is fun. So have a great day. Road to 50,000, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.